So, ladies and gentlemen, let's start out the show with a frankly disturbing and infuriating story from Indian River County, Florida. So in Indian River County, an 18-year-old girl, a high school student, has been both arrested and expelled from high school for being gay. I'm not kidding here, folks. She's been arrested and expelled for being a lesbian. This story is frankly awful, and I said it's infuriating. So here's the deal. Her father wrote about it on Exo Jane. Her mother wrote about it on Facebook. There's a Facebook group for it. So so this girl, uh, Caitlin or Kate Hunt, was a cheerleader. She was on the basketball team. She was actually voted by her classmates as the students with the most school spirit. So when this kid was 17, she became friends with another high school student. Student, a 14-year-old girl. Uh, this 14-year-old girl was playing varsity-level sports. She was taking higher-level classes. They were they were students together. They were peers. They were friends. And eventually, that evolved into something more than friendship. Eventually, they became romantically involved. Uh, this happens in high school all the time. Kids of different ages in different classes, you know, fre- seniors and freshmen, you know, kids date, kids date in high school, that happens. So eventually, eventually, the girl's basketball coach finds out about their relationship and then proceeds to kick Caitlin off of the basketball team because she's a lesbian and was in a gay relationship. The, the, the coach then goes and proceeds to tell the other girl's parents, who then proceed to flip out. Uh, the other girl's parents, they actually don't go to Caitlin's parents to talk about it. They don't approach Caitlin. They don't approach Caitlin's parents. What they do is, what the other girl's parents do is, they actually wait until Caitlin turns 18, and then they go to the police and have charges pressed against her. So so in February of this last year, the police apparently go to Caitlyn's house just out of the blue, out of the blue, and they friggin' arrest her. They bloody arrest her. They put this kid in handcuffs. And they initially, initially won't even tell her why they're arresting her. Eventually they do. They charge her with, quote, two counts of felony, lewd, and lascivious battery on a child 12 to 16. By the way, by the way, let me let me state this again. The relationship is 100% consensual. Uh, the girlfriend uh, is apparently, ho- you know, horrified by this. She, you know, doesn't want these charges, uh, you know, pursued against against her her girlfriend. But but they are. They're the girl's parents are pursuing them. So so they arrest her. Right. They drag her away from her home in handcuffs. They drag her away crying. So after she's arrested and charged, uh, the judge uh, at the hearing, the, 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 the bail hearing, says that she can go back to high school. She's a senior. She has a few months left. And while, you know, the charges are pending, they, <clears throat> she can go back to school. She can finish off her senior year, right? So the judge says that she's not supposed to see her girlfriend while the charges are pending, which is messed up. You know, in my opinion, that's messed up. But again, Caitlin at that point agrees to break off contact with the other girl, with her girlfriend at that point. The judge says it, and the gr- and Caitlin agrees, I will break off contact with my girlfriend. So then, then, the girl's, the girlfriend's parents then proceed to petition the school board to have Caitlin expelled from high school. Even though, even though the judge said she could go back to high school and finish her senior year. They, they go to the school board and... And then they actually, you know, <laughs> they get the school board to vote and have Caitlin expelled. And the school board votes and she's expelled from high school and she is sent to an alternative high school for being a lesbian. And again, you know, apparently, apparently, <laughs> apparently her girlfriend's parents claim that Caitlin, quote, made their daughter gay. So they're that type of, they're that type of, of p- person, you know, that type of, that type of twisted, sick, 
uh, you know, crazy, horrible, awful type of person. So, so again, so not only is this kid expelled, the fact is those charges are actually still out there. The prosecutor apparently offered a plea deal down to only, only felony child abuse. That's right. Felony child abuse with two years house arrest and a year of probation. Uh, luckily, Caitlin hasn't accepted those charges. But just think about that for a second. Think about just the, the plea deal here. This kid, this kid would be a felon just for being a lesbian, just for being gay. And she's 18 now. So, you know, she's being charged as an adult. She would be a felon. And those charges, you know, they're, they're still out here. So, you know, these this, this girlfriend, the girlfriend's parents are pursuing them and they want they want this kid this 18 year old high school kid to go to jail for being gay in 2013 i wonder i wonder how many 18 year old dudes go to that high school who are dating younger younger women who haven't been arrested you know, how many 18-year-old dudes are dating freshmen? How many senior dudes are dating freshmen at this high school? You know, it's it's happening at every single solitary high school in America. It happened at my my high school. I'm sure it happened at your high school. That that if this kid is a felon, then there's tons of felons in every high school in the United States. And and that's what they want. They want to make this kid to be a, a to be a felon for the rest of her life. So when she goes and applies for a job, she has to Check a box saying that I'm a felon. She she actually would lose her right to vote in Florida for at least five years. And then she'd have to go and beg for clemency to get her right to vote back. All for being a lesbian. There's currently a petition right now that her family has has started to actually get the prosecutor in Florida to drop the charges. We'll post a link at our site, MatthewF.net. You can also find the actual petition at change.org slash free Kate. Um, but yeah, definitely sign it, uh, and we'll we'll keep following this story. But yeah, this is this is sick. This is really, really sick. But in other, in other infuriating inequality news, there's more, there's more horrible inequality news here, unfortunately. In McKinley, Texas, in McKinley, Texas, a lesbian couple who currently live together, who have been together for three years, are being forced apart by a backwards homophobic Republican judge. So here's the deal, all right. So one of the women used to be married to a man. They were married and they had children together. They later divorced. Uh, eventually, the, the, the man is actually eventually charged with stalking his ex-wife uh, and then pleased down to lesser charges. But so here's what happens. Here's what eventually happens. Reading from DallasVoice.com, quote, Judge John Roach Jr., a Republican who presides over the 296th District Court, enforced the, quote, morality clause in Compton's divorce papers on Tuesday, May 7, under the clause, someone who has a dating or intimate relationship with the person or is not related by blood or marriage is not allowed after 9 p.m. when the children are present. Price, who is the other woman, was given 30 days to move out of the home because the children live there with the couple. End quote. Um, is your blood boiling? I know mine is. So according to this ridiculous, ridiculous, quote, morality clause, the morality clause, because this lesbian couple is not married, they can't live together. I know it comes as no shock to you that LGBT people in the state of Texas are not allowed to marry each other at all. They do not have gay marriage in Texas. So this, this, this ignorant, hateful, hateful, just homophobic goober judge is forcing this poor couple apart. They're forcing, and they're appealing the ruling. They're appealing the ruling, but dear God, dear God, they shouldn't have to appeal. They should not They should not have to be going through this. They should not have to go through this in 2013. It's sick, folks. It's really sick. And it just goes to show we have a long, 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 long way to go before we have 
true equality. We'll be right back. <laughs> 